what's going on guys i know it's been a while i know it's been a while but we're gonna finish it up today the three episodes i think i think these are the three last episodes of the season 21 22 23 we're gonna do that now so let's just jump into it man and see how this story ends because i'm excited to see it anyways um there's more to come on the channel so look out for other stuff coming up this week okay i got time i took some time off so this week we're gonna get some things done so look out for a lot of stuff that you've been probably waiting for to be on the channel but you don't know if it was gonna come or whatever the situation is i'm gonna try to put out as much content as possible this week anime tv shows music it's all gonna be done okay so starting tuesday you're going to see a lot of uploads to the channel, so make sure you look out for those. And remember to leave comments, man. You Vinland guys and, and the rest of y'all, y'all don't leave comments like that, man. Very few. Very few. Anyways, man, let's do this. Let's do this. See you guys for the review. Alright, I am, like, it's getting late. And I'm getting kind of sleepy. But anyways, let's do this. Um, Vinland Saga. They're doing a very good job of world building around conversation. Man, ask a last backstory, bruh. The dude is a savage, man. He killed his own dad. And it's, I think he's the one that killed his mom, too, if I'm not mistaken. Seems like he's the one that slit her throat. Too, like he killed her first and then him you know so i don't know man then he, he used his brother's sword they blamed him and they hanged the brother like pff, hey man bruh but he taught Thorfinn a very valuable lesson you know what i'm saying like dude if you're gonna come at me like you gotta take emotion out of it because emotion is what makes you not able to beat me you know what I'm saying? Stop being so angry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, be calculated. Don't be angry. Just angry, just jumping in, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, think when you're fighting. Like, when you're fighting about, uh, um, when you're fighting everybody else. When you're fighting me, you're always doing the same shit. You know, but when you fight everybody else, you're thinking and adjusting while you fight. You know, and this is very prominent throughout the throughout the series since we've been watching it. Like we see every fighter he's fought, he thinks during the fight. So if he realizes that he can't do something, he'll think about it and say, "Okay, let me go this way instead of that way." But for some reason, when he's fighting Askeladd, it's just the one he, he doesn't think at all. He's just like, "Ah, I wanna kill you! You killed my daddy!" <laughs> you know, so it's like. Yeah, valuable lesson, valuable lesson thought there. Um, King Swain doesn't know exactly why Askeladd, um, after he get the information from Floki, he went pale. You know, we all saw his expression when he mentioned that that's the next place they're going to conquer. Um, so we'll see how what's going to take place. What is he? What's the plan now for Askeladd to turn him? away from taking over well because that would if they knew why they could use it as an advantage to you know what i'm saying for him to either leave canute side or you know what i'm saying or you know just use it as leverage to get rid of, to probably use him to get rid of canute or something of the sort so we'll see what happens man i'm definitely going to try to do episode 24 before week's end um hope you fully you guys enjoy the reaction man i'm looking forward to this world building i still don't understand there's no explanation i don't understand why Askeladd fought, fought bjorn i'm guessing it's because you know bjorn finding like it it kind of had to happen that's why i'm wondering if i missed something like you guys can explain to me in the comment section if you understood why they had to fight because i don't think it was something that was inevitable i think it at this moment my theory is that it happened because as i said he hated vikings you get what i'm saying so bjorn being a viking you know what i'm saying like he had to get rid of bjorn one way or the other um but i still don't see why if it was necessary i don't really think so but we'll see 
what takes place next okay so i will be taking as i said i love the world building i love the dialogue i see the plans the back and forth of Askeladd versus the king you know what i'm saying canute the double all of that good stuff but it wouldn't make any sense for me to have commentary on that right now because we're all watching it together you get what i'm saying so i'm seeing the little the little factions and stuff like that um factors arise that they're gonna have to deal with and now the plan is um the king's plan you know they gave him no choice but to you know what i'm saying squash the rumors because he needs the power of the people the king you know what i'm saying so the rumors that were started by Askeladd is basically to save their ass while they're they're basically behind enemy lines right now just trying to play cool so that they don't get off at any second you know what i'm saying so we'll see how things turn out definitely definitely looking towards um reacting to that episode next um i would have to go get that episode right now and you know i know it's out i know it's out today the 29th as i'm recording this as i've just checked but i will do that episode sometime this week so look out for it great things are happening for this week on the channel so make sure you stay tuned a lot of reactions going to be out this week i'm gonna make sure that a lot because i've taken basically tuesday through saturday off so i don't i'm not dealing with nobody until next year again <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in man you guys have been amazing for the past year if you've been here with me since i did game of thrones man started on the channel whatever from last year you know we're going out uh, strong in about a year and four months now and i appreciate it man. we're going into a new decade man hopefully you guys have some sort of plan not necessarily resolutions but plan plan things out man is one of the things that i do so when stuff come up it may seem sometimes like it's unexpected but you will be prepared you know what i'm saying to take on whatever new comes your way so be prepared man expect the unexpected just love on yourself peace out man vinland saga is one of the best storytelling i've seen in a long time and they're doing an excellent job i know you guys feel the same so i'll catch up with you guys later it's your boy terabyte reacts peace don't forget to like the video